Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use some custom CSS to change the look of the video player in your Squarespace website. Now, all of the codes we're using today will work in both version 7 or 7.1. So if you're using the latest version of Squarespace, this is the right tutorial for you. Or if you're in an older version like Brine or Bedford or York, you're still in the right place. All the codes I'm using today are listed in the description beneath the video, but I'd love to show you exactly what each one does so you know what you're going to want to change to make it look amazing on your own website. Let's go ahead and hop into my demo site and get started with this one. So here we are in my demo site and I have a simple video player over here, but very important thing to note, I've uploaded a thumbnail so we can edit this play button as well. If you don't upload a custom thumbnail for your video, you will not be able to change that play button. I'll show you really quickly when we hop in here, I'll just select edit on this particular video. If you use custom thumbnail, then you'll have the option to make the play button changes that we're going to do today. If you don't have a custom thumbnail, that's not going to be an option. All right, ignoring all that stuff, let's play around with the actual video itself. We're we're going to add a border and a box shadow to lift it off the page or at least give that visual effect. So I'm going to navigate over to design and then scroll down to custom CSS at the bottom. This is where we're going to add the codes that are also listed beneath the video. So the first thing we need to do is name the object that we're going to change. This happens to be called SQS video wrapper. So I'm just going to type that in there and open up a bracket. So let's go ahead and give it a border. I'm going to say border 5px solid uh, let's go with purple. There we go. Now we've got a neat purple border to our video already standing out from the page just a little bit. Now the next thing I mentioned was a box shadow. That's going to help give the effect of it slightly lifting off the page. So I'm going to add a semicolon and say box shadow. And here I'll say 5px for the horizontal offset. We'll add 5px for the vertical offset as well. And we'll give it a little bit of a blur there. And let's go ahead and lighten up that color. I'm going to type in the code RGBA000, which is a solid black color, but then the last part of an RGBA code is adjusting the opacity. So I'm going to say 0.5, and now it's just a slightly lighter shade right there. So we can even change that to a 0.2 if we want it to be very subtly lifting off the page, or a solid 1 if we want it to be really dramatic there. Pretty cool, right? Play around with that box shadow until it matches exactly the site style that you're going for there. The last thing I'd like to show you how to change in this tutorial is this little play button right here. We can actually edit that using some custom CSS. So I'm going to create a new line and I'm going to say SQS video icon and let's give it a fun border as well. I'm going to say border uh, 5px solid and we'll make it a solid white just like the button so that has a square around it. And we can actually add a border radius of 50% to make that a round button if we'd like to. And if you want to change that from the solid white color to a solid black color, we can do that using an inverted filter. So why am I not just typing in a color and making that purple as well? That's because it's actually a specific image. Squarespace is using an image here, not like an icon or a piece of content that we can edit the color of. So we have to use image filters if we want to change that. So to do that, I can say SQS video icon filter invert parentheses 100% and that'll change it to solid black. So those are your two main options, solid black or solid white using the inverted filter if you'd like to adjust that at all. Okay. Awesome. So we went through quite a lot of code today. Again, the codes are listed in the description beneath the video there. And I want to encourage you to get really creative with those borders and those box shadows. Make that video player stand out. If you've played around with any of these codes and you're pretty proud of what you've done, feel free to share it in the comments below because I would love to see your work. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.